Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Today I want to give you five ideas of what you can do with a portable monitor. Here's a portable monitor, kind of looks like a laptop, but without the, the laptop part, it's just the screen. Normally they're quite thin, easy to carry around, come with HDMI and with USB connections for audio and video. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So a portable monitor is one of those things I've been thinking about for years. Should I get one? Do I need one? And of course, until you actually try it, you don't really know whether you need it. Now, I've got this one and I've been trying it out and I've come up with five different ways that you can use a portable monitor. So let's have a look at number one. So number one is you can just use it as a normal monitor because it comes normally with some kind of stand. In this case, it's got a kind of a smart stand. It's, it doubles up as the cover. And you can fold it up and make it into the stand for the monitor itself. Then you can use it on your PC. Just connect it to your PC with the HDMI connector and you can just use it. Or for example, I've been using it with the Raspberry Pi and you may have noticed it in my Jetson Nano 2 gigabyte video because I was using it as the monitor for that device. So any normal device, PC or small board computer, single board computer that needs a HDMI connector, uh, then you just use this monitor and it saves you having to take the computer to another place, to your TV, to your main desk, wherever you've got your monitor, you can just take this one to it because it's light, it's small, it's thin, and it's very easy to connect up to any device. Okay, number two, you can actually use this to extend the screen on a laptop or on an existing PC. So for example, I've tested it on my uh, MacBook and it's able to act as a second display. You can of course extend the desktop without any problem. I also tried it on a Chromebook using USB-C. I have an Asus Chromebook, which you can connect via USB-C into the USB-C port, and then it actually can start, uh, extend the display that way. And actually it charges the, um, the, the Chromebook as well if the power, the input source is strong enough. And I also tried it on the Surface Pro X again with USB-C works absolutely fine for both video and for audio. Number three, you can use it as a normal TV. And by that you mean you can plug in a Chromecast or you can plug in a Roku or an Amazon Fire Stick and you can start consuming your media. Netflix, YouTube, uh, for Amazon Fire Video, whatever it is that you're using, you just plug it into the HDMI port and then rather than kind of looking at your phone, squinting at your little display that you've got on your phone, you can have this now on a much bigger 15.6 inch display. For example, is this one, dual speakers, absolutely great. You can go around a friend's house, maybe if you don't have access to the big screen television it's being used by somebody else, you can set this up and you can start watching a film together in a kind of a portable setup, great idea. And number four, you can use this as a monitor for a video camera. So most big cameras like the Canon EOS range or a Sony Alpha 7, uh, they have a video output port on them, often HDMI, might be mini HDMI, you might need a connector, but even so you can connect it to a portable monitor like this and what the camera is capturing, you can also review that and monitor that on the uh, screen separately and you can see much clearer what actually is being captured. Now obviously a lot of photographers and video makers like to use the smaller monitors, maybe a seven inch one that you mount on the hot shoe and I absolutely understand that, but maybe if you want to uh, show what's being captured kind of to a bigger audience, then using a monitor like this can be very useful. And number five, you can use it with your smartphone. For example, if you have a Samsung device which has DeX built into it, then you can connect up this monitor to the uh, uh, Samsung phone. The Samsung phone acts as a trackpad and then you actually now have a kind of a mini PC which is really your kind of your smartphone. So there is this working idea, kind of this idea that you could just take this big screen with you, you've got your phone with you anyway, and then wherever you end up setting up to do work, study, whatever it is you're doing, you can get out this screen, use the smart cover, connect it up, connect it up to your uh, smartphone, and now all the files that you have on your smartphone are still available on this little desktop setup. And of course, you've probably then also got 4G or 5G because you've got that through your cellular provider. So a kind of a really portable working setup that really is just your phone and all the files you've got there, 
and then you connect it to uh, an external display. So the mic I was using during this test is the Lepau, Lepau 15.6 inch Z1, Z1, full HD, 60 Hertz. Uh, thanks to Lepau for organizing me to have this review unit. If this kind of thing does interest you, for your convenience, I've also included a link in the description. Do know it is an affiliate link, which means if you buy through that link, you help out this channel. Now this dev device itself, very, very flexible, HDMI, uh, input obviously it's also got USB-C two of those one for power and one if you're connecting it to for example like my Chromebook or to uh, the uh, Surface Book Pro it uses USB-C there's also a headphone socket so you can get the sound through some earphones two dual speakers and then of course built in there's all the normal menus you'd expect for brightness and color warmth and, and all that kind of stuff I found it very very light very very easy to use I hope I don't drop it as I'm doing this very very thin and the smart cover is great because it doubles up you can literally cover it up and then put it under your arm and walk off with it and you know this display is protected so i found it very very useful and these five cases that i've come up with are actually ones that i'm certainly going to use uh, quite often as i'm doing the different things here around the house okay that's it my name is gary sims this is gary explains i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos then why not stick around by subscribing to the channel okay that's it i'll see you in the next one